Earthquake! Oh, oh my god! No. Oh. It's time for Under the Sea Battles! This episode is sharks going head to head with dolphins and other sea mammals. All right, to get this party started, we have the tiger shark, and these guys will eat just about anything. They've been found with boat cushions in their stomachs. <laughs> Talk about an appetite. Oh man, these guys are always hungry. But the dolphins are starting off with their big guns too. The killer whale. This guy is actually just a huge dolphin. Natural predator of the sea lion. This should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Definitely will be. And here comes a fan favorite, the hammerhead. Its spaced out eyes and nostrils actually allow it to extend the range of its senses. Man, this guy is gonna be a big help in the back half of this battle. And speaking of big helps, we have the sea lion, or as I like to say, the dog of the ocean. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> These guys are super friendly, but I'd still recommend staying away if you see one on the beach. I wonder how it's going to react to the killer whale in the pool. It's a going to be a killer time, let me tell you. Oh, man. Another big hitter for the sharks is the sand shark. These will come in handy if this turns into a night battle because they're nocturnal. You know what that means. They're excellent at hunting in the dark. Up next, we have the crab. Good thing there's no chefs around or else this guy would be getting lathered in butter and seasoning. Am I right, Lauren? Ha <laughs> yeah I am! But seriously, those pinchers can do some real damage! Next up we have the t wait, an another tiger shark? Man, these things are really doubling down on the big eaters, aren't they? Oh man, they want to make sure they secure this win! But we have a newcomer, a real class act! The bottlenose dolphin! These water mammals can spend up to 15 minutes underwater on a single breath! Talk about lung capacity. Man, they'd be helpful blowing up balloons at a party. You're certainly right about that, Lauren. Next up, we have the whale shark. Is it a whale? Is it a shark? It's both, it's a whale shark. It's the largest shark in the ocean and also the friendliest. Divers regularly pet this gentle giant. Uh-oh, you feel that rumbling? Lauren, what's that? Oh no, tsunami! <laughs> Big Tusk Alert! It's walrus time, everybody! These behemoths of the Arctic can withstand temperatures as low as negative 35 degrees Celsius. That's really cold! That's super cold! They can eat up to 4,000 shellfish in a single feeding. Stay out of this guy's way, am I right? <laughs> and it's the bull shark! These guys are super versatile! They can swim in salt water and fresh water. How is that possible? I don't know, that's just crazy. Make sure you check the bathtub before you get in it because these guys could be anywhere. Another killer whale? Wait, wait, no, it's a false killer whale. Oh, twist. These guys look very similar to their aquatic cousins and just look at those teeth. Whoa, I'd like to know what that guy goes with the dentist. And another whale shark. Lauren, I gotta say, I really love these dudes. They're just gentle, all around, well-rounded good guys. Good to see another one getting into the ring. You just want to give it a little snuggle. No, not that close. Okay. Hey, 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 I was wondering when we'd see this one. The humpback whale. These guys can grow to be about the size of a bus. But you should really hear them sing. Lovely underwater voices. Like an opera. Uh-oh, earthquake! earthquake! Oh, oh, my God! No! Oh. oh, man, that knocked a lot of our players out of the ring. We only have two sharks remaining. They're going to need some backup if they want to completely lose this thing. But wait, what's this? It looks like the whales are calling in some reinforcements instead. Oh, man, things have definitely taken a turn, and it's the big daddy of them all, the blue whale. This is the largest living animal on the planet. It's so big, it doesn't have any natural predators. And good luck with that one, sharks. Oh, uh oh, Lauren, looks like you spoke too soon. It's the one, the only, the one we all came to see, the great white. Shark! Oh man, look at those teeth. This guy can smell blood and water from almost three miles away. Oh, that's a real game changer for the sharks, Lauren. And finally, we have the dusky dolphin. I gotta admit, this is a weird choice for the dolphins to end on seeing how the dusky dolphins are the smallest of all the dolphins. But let, 
Let's see what he can do in there. Yeah, let's give, let's give the little guy a chance. All right. And what you smell that? It smells like gunpowder. Is that a <gasps> cannonball? I bet that was from one of those pesky pirates. Oh, man, they really shook things up. It seems a little unfair. How are we going to resolve this? Oh, uh oh, I don't think we're going to have to, Lauren. Wait, it's the Titans of Terror. It's Mammoth Shark and Jumbo Whale. Now, these guys don't exist in the wild, but man, it is fun to watch them go at it. It sure is. Mm -hmm. We have to clear the ring in order for these two to go at it. All right, let's get ready to bubble. Oh, man, they're going back and forth. They're going at it. They're just swimming around, thrashing, biting. Oh, man, that doesn't look legal. Oh, no, what are they? Oh, their tails are caught together. The shark has a commanding center lead. This arena can't hold all this awesomeness. Oh, Lord, it smells like another cannonball. Oh, man, what a turn of events. I can't believe it. Mammoth Shark wins. This is a huge upset for the whales who had a strong commanding lead and the sharks up against the ropes in the first half of this. Talk about intense. Well, thanks for joining us. Come back next time for more adrenaline-filled action on Undersea, Undersea Battles. Battles!